Since taking power in a military coup in 2013, Egypt's military leadership has attempted to form a unique and largely informal agreement with European leaders. If they shielded it from criticism over its human rights records, it would continue to buy their weapons. From 2011, Egypt's government began to drastically boost its arms imports. Traditionally, its main exporter has always been the United States, who, for decades, has provided billions of dollars in aid to the country and its army. But over the last decade, that began to change, with Egypt bringing its focus closer to its neighbours in Europe. An internal memo from Egypt's foreign office, obtained by Middle East Eye, highlights the reasons behind this. In it, diplomats say they're worried about the criticism Egypt has been receiving at the United Nations, primarily from EU member states, who see their statements on Egypt's human rights violations as a pressure tool to force policy change. It says there was a lack of direct vital interests motivating the EU to cooperate with Egypt, such as arms contracts worth tens of billions, agreements to host hundreds of thousands of foreign refugees, and a military or security role in dealing with a specific crisis. The memo was dated May 2017 and written by staff in the office of incumbent Foreign Minister Samah Shukri, who added handwritten notes to the document and signed it. This approach can be seen reflected in Egypt's military imports over the last decade. This is most evident with Egypt's increased security partnership with France. In fact, France has now surpassed the US as the country's second biggest weapon supplier after Russia. Between 2010 and 2019, Egypt imported more than 7.5 billion euros worth of military equipment from France, which included a 2015 deal for 24 Dassault Rafale fighter jets. In December 2020, French President Emmanuel Macron announced he would no longer make arms sales to Egypt conditional on human rights because he didn't want to weaken its ability to combat militancy in the region. Je ne conditionnerai pas euh, notre coopération en matière de défense comme en matière économique à ces désaccords. Ensuite, parce que je pense qu'il est plus efficace d'avoir une politique de dialogue exigeant qu'une politique euh, de boycott qui viendrait réduire l'efficacité d'un de nos partenaires dans la lutte contre le terrorisme et pour la stabilité régionale. That was followed by a 4 billion euro deal in May 2021 where Egypt obtained another 30 new fighter jets. German weapons to Egypt have also surged by 205% since 2013, according to analysis by the Tahrir Institute for Middle East Policy. A few days before leaving office, former German Chancellor Angela Merkel agreed to an arms deal worth 5 billion euros with Egypt, making up the majority of Germany's record arms export sales in 2021. In 2020, Egypt signed a 10 billion euro deal with Italy, which included the purchase of six frigates, 24 M346 training aircrafts, 24 Eurofighter Typhoon combat aircrafts, 20 Farage 2 OPV missile boats, in addition to a military industrial satellite. Spain exported more than 50 million euros worth of weapons to Egypt since 2012 and has approved 46 licenses for the export of weapons at another 93 million euros. Then, in February 2014, the Spanish Parliament's Defence Committee rejected a request submitted by the Catalan Republican Left Party to suspend arms deals with Egypt due to the Egyptian government's violation of human rights. Convergence and Union Party rejected the submitted request, saying that relations with Egypt should remain as they are, as change in foreign policies should not take place abruptly and without thinking. In 2021, Spanish weapons manufacturer Escribano signed a collaboration agreement to supply remote-controlled naval and land systems to Egypt. The UK has supplied Egypt with a range of military equipment, which rights groups say have been used by the country's military to suppress its citizens. These include machine guns, military helicopters, and combat vehicle parts. The UK's Defence and Security Exports Department has identified Egypt as a key market, and a number of British Prime Ministers and Trade Ministers have attended and hosted a number of high-profile meetings with Egyptian officials over the last decade. Between 2013 and 2020, the UK signed 229 licenses and exported more than 232.85 million worth of military equipment to Egypt. 
Egypt's human rights record has been under intense scrutiny since 2013. During the military takeover of the country in July and August of 2013, more than a thousand protesters were killed by security forces in what was described as the biggest massacre in Egypt's modern history. Under the rule of former general Tan president Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the government has detained more than 60,000 political prisoners, including journalists, activists and political figures. Many have been held in pre-trial detention indefinitely, in circumstances that rights groups say amounts to torture, violating Egypt's own legal system. Egypt has also seen an unprecedented surge in capital punishment, becoming the third highest executioner in the world after China and Iran. As of 2020, the Committee to Protect Journalists describes Egypt as the world's third worst jailer of journalists. In August 2013, export licenses for arms to Egypt were briefly suspended by the EU Foreign Affairs Council, which declared the actions of security forces in the Rabah crackdowns as disproportionate. EU member states at the time, which included the UK, agreed to pause the sale of any equipment which could be used for internal repression, and promised to reassess their security partnerships with Egypt's new government. However, the Council's agreement fell short of a regulation, and therefore was not binding, but rather a political commitment by its members. As a result, most of these suspensions were lifted soon after. In February 2022, nearly 200 European politicians signed a letter calling on the UN Human Rights Council to establish a monitoring and reporting mechanism on Egypt to address the country's human rights crisis. The letter urged the UNHCR to take resolute action ahead of the Council's upcoming session in March. But European governments themselves have largely been silent, and as weapon sales continue to increase, so too does their vital interest in keeping Egypt's military leaders free from criticism.